With the final presentation, uh, we have number 23, possibility of getting on off public vehicle by manual. Will it share with four degrees of freedom contact arm mechanism? May I invite either Professor Kakamori or Professor yes. Hayashi, please? Okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Can, can you can you hear about my voice? Yes, I, I can see the screen as well. I will start. Uh, my name is Fumi Akita Kemori. Uh, I'm in Toto, at Toto University, Japan. I would like to talk about the poss possibility of getting on off public vehicle by manual wheelchair with four degrees of freedom contact arm mechanism. Part three, um, in recent years, amended stations have been promoted by railway companies and the ratio is increasing year by year. But on the other hand, amended station also have the uh, disadvantage that is not available for one, uh, not available for on-demanded assistance for passengers who needs the who needs the assistance in getting on and off. So, uh, the uh, amended rate of stations is higher on local lines than in urban area. There are many non-electrified routes on local routes, so that many of the vehicles operated a uh, diesel train. Uh, these are, these are rail car, uh, as well known, or a vehicle that uses a, a diesel engine as a drive source. And because the engine is mounted under the floor of, uh, of the bogey, uh, it has a floor structure with a step at the uh, entrance and the exit. So, uh, now the problem is, uh, how can how can wheelchair user get on and off the train in the independently? Uh, to overcome to overcome uh, this problem, uh, we we propose wheelchair which adds adds on four degree of freedom contact arm mechanism. Uh, we consider uh, that. Uh, for grounding arm, for ground, grounding arm, uh, arms are required to stably realize a movement of the uh, environment, uh, which such as a gap and uh, two steps. Okay. Uh, next, uh, I would like to illustrate about uh, why. Why does four degree of freedom contact arm need? Um, the, uh, this figure, uh, uh, okay, this figure, uh, uh, this figure uh, illustrates the sequence of uh, the striding over gap and uh, uh, two steps with contact arm. As shown in figure second and third, um, two legs. Two legs are required to move up and down the step in the forward direction by two steps. Okay. On the other hand, two legs are also required to struggle the uh, rear gap. So in this study, uh, uh, it is, cons uh, it is uh, uh, considered that four legs, four legs are effective for moving between the gap and the two stage in environment. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, uh, picture of uh, oil chairs. Next, I would like to present the uh, outline of four degree of freedom contact arm mechanism. Uh, 
Base body is a standard hoil chair like this. For this body, uh, all linear actuators are installed. Uh, this is one first uh, actuator. Uh, this is two second actuators and third actuator and four actuators. Uh, left side pictures shows front detail mechanism. Uh, this is sub hoil. Uh, this is second second actuator. Okay. And right side picture uh, shows details uh, rear mechanism. Okay. This page shows sub hoil mechanism. When uh, the main hoil of uh, hoil chair gets out of bed, a drive mechanism for auto autonomous movement is required. Therefore, in this study, one, one sub hoil for autonomous movement is added to each of the front and rear arms. The mechanism photograph is uh, sh uh, shown in uh, this page. Uh, the front and rear sub hoils move forward and backward by operating the joystick at, uh, at hand. Okay. Uh, the, uh, this, this image of autonomous, autonomous movement function by a sub hoil. Okay, uh, uh, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, like this, uh, back and uh, cam, forward and back, uh, backward, okay. <laughs> and uh, next, uh, in this page, I would like to introduce the control method for getting on and off automatically. Uh, the purpose of this paper is to, to realize step movement without the need for human visual inspection or uh, intervention of operation in rising and lowering the hoil, hoil chair. In order to achieve this, we apply the elevating control to a, a step with an unknown height proposed by the, by the author in reference five. <coughs> Okay, this method is step detection by disturbance observer. By, dis uh, by disturbance observer, un unexpected uh, collision on the step can mean as disturbance for arm system. Okay, now um, I would like to step detection by disturbance observer. Uh, in this section, we apply an auto automatic arm grounding judgment method that applies is a disturbance observer as a method for detecting whether the arm touches the floor. The uh, disturbance detection system is sum summarized in figure, uh, figure 10. Uh, this is a block diagram of uh, control systems. But for details, uh, uh, please refer to reference five. Uh, reference five. Okay. Uh, in this figure, uh, Shita is uh, uh, arm angle. Arm angle. Uh, well, we uh, we apply this this uh, uh, systems. Okay. Uh, in this chapter, we verify the uh, weather. The proposed mechanism can move the uh, environment that uh, simulated as an entrance and exi exit of the actual diesel rail car shown in figure 12. Uh, in figure 12, act uh, actual station and big crew dimensions are set, and coil chair is on board and adult. Okay. Uh, a vehicle dimensions, uh, we, we, set, uh, we, we set this uh, numerical. 
okay in this page unknown step detectability so uh, uh, detectability is verified by disturbance observer first graph shows the uh, first graph shows the disturbance response when oh, uh, sorry <laughs> uh, response when the arm touches the ground at the vehicle uh, boarding gate and second graph shows the lowest point of the, uh, of the arm corresponding to this uh, response. Uh, this, uh, as shown, uh, as you know, okay, a impulsive disturbance means grounding instance. Uh, this, this, uh, this phase, this phase, this phase. <coughs> uh, this is, okay, this. Okay, to move movement to, to please, please. <laughs> uh, this is uh, down motion in movies. <clears throat> uh, as an experimental condition, this passenger, uh, the, the passenger is not informed of the height of step. And each motor is controlled by feedback PI control. Okay. Okay. Uh, this, this picture, uh, sorry. Okay. This movie is up motion. <laughs> As you know, independently, independently control is uh, achieved. Uh, finally, we have proposed an elevating mechanism and its control rules for wheelchair users to get on and off public transport, transportation vehicle by themselves. It was shown that it is possible to move and, uh, and down with a wheelchair by applying the grounding function with a four degree arms to uh, vehicle environment with two stage at the entrance. Uh, future tasks include seamlessness and the time reduction of each sequence. Uh, thank you uh, for your attention. Chairman, maybe chairperson is disconnected. Maybe okay, <laughs> okay. I'm sure you got. Uh, uh, I am uh, today's first session chair, so alternative. I am charging with this session chair. Emergency. So, do you have any questions or comments? Okay, I have one question for your interesting presentation. Okay. 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 And uh, uh, yes, uh, you are climbing uh, movement direction. Uh, the how can I say the uh, wheelchair. Uh, moves in backward motion to climb up uh, the stair to into the train. So, uh, why don't you uh, forward movement is uh, not uh, adapted in your method? Okay. Uh, uh, this way you just can can climb in forward, forward mm -hmm. direction. 
both both reaction is uh, uh, realized to crime. Uh, okay. Uh, in this in this study in this study, <laughs> uh, wow. so the reason reasons of backward uh, is not important. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. So uh, your system can realize both the direction for yeah, climbing. Yes. Okay. Okay. Are there any questions or comments? Yes, I have. Oh, yes, please. Um, your device. Um, oh, so, sorry, time's up. Uh, your device uh, size is a little large. So the can can this can this wheelchair rotate in the um, in rotate can rotate in the in the train because uh, especially uh, uh, the diesel train is very narrow. Oh. Of course, uh, uh, <laughs> train is very narrow. Okay, uh, good question. Uh, <laughs> so. The dimension, uh, dimension is uh, is not small. <laughs> uh, my my feature task. Thank you. Okay, and thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. It's time to close the session. Okay, thank you again for your participation and uh, your discussions. So next session. Uh, so I would like to close this session on behalf of the original uh, uh, session chair, Kahal. Professor Kafal Gohav. Also, okay, I, I'd like to close this session. So next session will start at uh, eight fifteen UTC and the uh, seventeen fifteen in JST. This is the last keynote speech. So please, please welcome again and join. Thank you very much. <laughs>